Many places have eased up on COVID-19 precautions, but for people who with compromised immune systems, those precautions are still crucial, including vaccines. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull is going in depth tonight on vaccination rates for healthcare workers after one family raised concerns. Tracy Weichman has taken every precaution for her son, Christopher. For him, we don't know how protected he is. He's in a medically fragile state. She says the 32-year-old is vaccinated against COVID-19, but they're not sure how effective it is for him. He has Duchenne muscular dystrophy. That's why a trip to the doctor was so shocking for her. We were in for a bit of a rude awakening when we went because we kind of had that assumption that healthcare providers would certainly be vaccinated. And we discovered that was not the case. State data shows around 58% of current hospital staff received the vaccine as of June 4th, based on information facilities self-report. Right now, it's a very tricky issue because none of the vaccines have been finally approved. We turn to USF's Jay Wolfson. In Florida, you cannot mandate it yet, though the employment lawyers and the Occupational Safety and Health Administration are indicating that you can. A very recent, just this past week, federal court in Texas uh, for the Methodist Hospital in Houston said that the hospital may mandate that its employees get vaccinated even without the final uh, approval by the FDA beyond the EUA. We checked in with local hospital systems, many who told us they aren't requiring it, but encouraging it. Johns Hopkins Medicine recently announced it would require clinical and non-clinical staff to be fully vaccinated by September. In the meantime, Tracy is hoping to see more shots in arms. I just want people to know if you're in that situation and you do have a compromised immune system before you go anywhere, you call and you ask those questions before you go. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.